Welcome all to Minion Therapy. I am Gorthax. Hi, Gorthax. I am going to start off the... Uh, <coughs> sorry, I had a seagull bone stuck in my throat. I'm going to start off the talking femur on my left. And remember, this is a safe place and there is no judgment here. Hi, hi. I am Gimpy Gimpy. Hi, Gimpy. I, I am no <laughs> soldier, soldier. <laughs> I'm here at <laughs> Minions Therapy because I <laughs> like to raid, raid, <laughs> small town <laughs> place. And, and I, I did it, it <laughs> because Master Yonagu told me, me to bite strike <laughs> village town, but... You know, never, never came, came on raid, raid night. It's okay, Gimpy. It's okay. This is a safe place. <laughs> Thank you, Gorthax. <laughs> you know, never saw Gimpy steal, steal in the camp tent. First farmer with backpack. You know, go never tell Gimpy he be proud of me, me. Well, that's hard, Gimpy. Um, I've been there, and I know how that feels. And I think we are hitting on some really um, important feelings here. You never felt good enough. No, no. Gimpy, me, me. Raid so many town, town. And you know, go never say thank, thank for Gimpy, Gimpy work. Ah, Gimpy, terrible minion, minion. Ah. Sometimes all um, a minion wants is recognition from their evil overlord. We all get that sometimes. But you have to remember, if your evil overlord never appreciates you, that says a lot more about them than it does you. Gimpy, not understand. A good evil overlord uh, should make his minion feel proud to be um, his or her minion. It's not that you weren't good enough. It's that they weren't good enough to you. Thank you, Gorthax. Um, yep. Yeah, uh, uh, bring it in. This is a, a safe place. Hugging is, is certainly um, acceptable here. Gimpy, Gimpy. Thank you. Gimpy, Gimpy finished with story, story. Okay. Let's, um, pass the talking femur. Um, thank you, Gimpy, for sharing your story. Uh, who's next? Hi, my name was Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. I am a zombie, and before I died, I lived a happy life. All I ever wanted was to rest in peace with my son. But my master brought me back and forced me to guard his evil lair. He made me attack anyone that came near. First, it was... I'm sorry, I need a second. This is hard. It's okay, Jimmy. This is a safe place. <laughs> Thank you. First, it was the mailman. He was just trying to deliver news to my master's door. And I couldn't stop myself because of the master's will. Then, then it was the neighbor's dog. Uh, fluffy uh, That's hard That's so hard I'm sorry The master <laughs> reanimated me illegally And my son was 
three gravestones down. But when he brought back my son, he sent him away to the town to be cut down by paladins, like like some kind of meat shield. And I never got to see my boy again. And even after we were defeated by a band of adventurers, I couldn't rest anymore. Not without my son. But he's gone. And I can't help but wonder if it was my fault. Hey, whoa, stop right there. I'm going to tell you this straight, okay? Is it okay if I just put my claw on your shoulder for a second? That's okay. It wasn't your fault. It was not your fault, okay? You can't blame yourself for that. That was out of your control. The same thing happened to me. It was not your fault. You are under control by an evil wizard. You cannot blame yourself for that, especially for what he did to your son. Repeat after me, okay? I want to hear you say this with your own voice. It was... It was... Not... Not... My fault. My fault. It was not my fault. My son's resting place. The mailman. Fluffy the dog. It was not my fault. It was not my fault. I... I... I feel... Peace. Wow. Jimmy, um, evaporated. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Another seagull bone stuck in my throat. It seems, um, through the telling of his story, uh, he was finally able to move on to the afterlife. Um, let's just take a moment to, um, honor his passing. Okay. Um, let's pass the talking femur. I'll take it. Um, hi, I'm Gary. Hi, hi Gary. Gary. And, um, I'm here today at Minion Therapy to talk about, um, my short body. Everywhere I go, people look at me and they think he's a big scary monster. I'm not a monster. I'm just Gary, but people take one look at me and assume I'm gonna eat them. It comes up at restaurants. The waiter looks at me all uncomfortable like and asks me if I'm gonna eat them. I don't eat people. I'm actually a vegetarian, but it just hurts my feelings so much that People assume they know me just from one look at my body. And I've never loved myself because of that. (laughs) I get that. It's okay, Gary. This is a safe place. You can let it out. Thank you, Gorfax. Honestly, I just don't feel so good about myself. And I feel really lonely. No one really gives me the chance to get to know me. I really like to read, I like to play tuba, and I like stand-up poetry. But I've never had anyone to enjoy these things with. Those are wonderful things you've shared, and we've touched on some really core feelings here. This is a safe place. No one's judging you. You can let it all out. Thank you, thanks. I, I need a minute. It's okay, Gary. I can see this really weighs you down. We're here for you, Gary. Okay? Uh, (coughs) Sorry. I had a seagull bone stuck in my throat. This just won't go down. Thank you, Gorfax. One day, I was out swimming, 
and I saw this swimmer was going out beyond the bank, and the riptide was bad this year, so I swam up beside her and told her to swim back, but she started screaming and yelling, Shark! <laughs> she told me to go away and scream for help, so I did, but she started to drown. Oh, this is hard. I need a hug. Thank you, Gimpy. Uh, 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 I'm not a monster. I'm not a monster. All right, now, everyone, let's bring I'm it in. I'm just a shark man. I'm not a monster. <laughs> I needed this. Thank you. I think I'm good. I, I'm ready to continue the story. I, I tried to save her, but when I brought her back to shore, the fishermen were ready with harpoons, and she screamed that I tried to eat her. I didn't. All I wanted to do was help, and that really affected my self-esteem. And I've always struggled to feel good about myself and to have friends. But that was the hardest point in my life and the worst I've ever felt about my appearance and my identity being born as a shark man. Wow. That's hard. You have friends in us, Gary. And no one is judging you here. Your identity is a shark man is a beautiful thing, and you are loved, okay? I want you to tell yourself that. You are loved. Thank you, Gortex. I can't share any more right now. I, I need a good cry. You can pass the stick along. Thank you for sharing, Gary. Um, let's talk after a bit, okay? I went through some very similar things, Gary, and I understand how you're feeling. Um, for now, we'll, we'll, uh, let's toss the, uh, talking femur along, please. Um, who's next? Hi, I'm Torvac. Hi, Torvac. I'm here at Minion Therapy to talk about my dad. My dad used to tell me that the only good warrior is a warrior who dies in battle. And as soon as I was old enough to walk, he told me I was old enough to do battle. So I always tried to make him proud for the honor of our ancestors, but it was never enough. One day, we fought a great battle for the honor of our ancestors, and I fought back many adventurers, and I fought well. Great Chieftain gave me a promotion to War Boss Leader, and I was really happy. I went home to tell my dad the good news, and... Uh, uh, I went home to tell my dad the good news, and... Give me a moment as I do battle with this memory for the honor of my ancestors. Take all the time you need, Torvac. We are here to support you. And to love you. Thank you. I, I, I am ready. Thank you. I went home to my dad. And after getting my promotion, he told me, he, he told me I wasn't good enough and that I was not his son. And I failed to honor our ancestors because I did not die a glorious death in combat. I am a strong orc. Strong orcs should not cry, but I am weak that my dad never loved me, and that I failed him as a son. That's hard. I understand that. My dad tried to eat me. You are not alone, Turvac, and it was not your fault. After that day, Mom and Dad, they went into glorious battle and died a warrior's death. And I fought with them, but I survived. And now, I still haven't died a glorious death in battle. 
My wife worries about me. I don't know if I ever will die for the honor of my ancestors. Listen, you will die a glorious death in battle someday. We all will, but you cannot rush that before it's time. Have you ever stopped to consider that you have time to spend with your wife and your family? No, you're, you're right. I'm, I'm being like my own dad. I'm ready to die in glorious battle before my family is ready for me to die. I would rob my kids of time to hit each other with wooden clubs. And I'm thinking only of myself. You're right, Gorthax. I'm going to go home tonight, and I'm going to ask my wife to do honorable combat, and we will hit each other with wooden sticks and then hit the kids. For the honor of our ancestors, pass the stick along, Gorthax. I'm ready. What touching and wonderful stories today. (coughs) Sorry. Thank you all for sharing these heartfelt stories. We'll reconvene next week at midday. All of you go home safely and have a wonderful day. And please... Do not forget to tell your family just how much you love them.